I'm so happy. My husband has just painted my art studio. This gives me an opportunity to pull everything out, check that everything is situated so that I can more easily access all my tools. It's going to be quite a job, but I'll do a reveal after it's all done. My studio has been painted. The furniture and tools are back in place with some improvements in organization. I've moved some items around, eliminated some, added more to improve workflow. Let's take a tour here. Here's my large easel. Working on a piece that should be finished in the next month. I store my paint brushes all in this little caddy here that moves around. Here's another handy drawer system. And I keep my gesso and mediums under here for my water media, for my acrylic paints. So this is a office studio, which is so common nowadays. And, uh, oh, here's one of my Bouchard boxes. And I've labeled all these drawers so I can easily go to my envelopes or my tape. I do have customers come by. Here's a couch. Some of my art books. Now these containers I just purchased, I did have these rolls of canvas and tripod and metal easel up on top of the shelf system, but it was hard to get to, clumsy. Uh, so I like these extra heavy duty tubs that I purchased. And these three storage units I purchased from a local hardware store. I've been happy with them. I reorganized them a little. Here are some of my folios. Have them leaning against this large flat file. And as you can see, I have two folding tables that actually fold in the middle to on top of this flat file where I keep not only my own art, but I do collect uh, prints and other flat art, watercolors and such. And here's a large cutting board, very helpful. And here's a idea. I don't know if anybody else has thought of this, but I placed a folding table folded on top of four plastic tubs. Here's my smaller easel. It has a nice little drawer under there. Close to finishing this piece. And this is actually a sewing machine table, which is a pretty handy storage area. And my other art bookshelf, which contains my printmaking books, which I'll do some videos on printmaking at a later date. I have a large uh, printing press and small printing press in my garage and I love printmaking and oil painting and other forms of paint. Like most artists, it's hard to choose just one medium. I have some of my paintings here on the shelf and although they're leaning on the wall, there is a anti-skid sheet there on the shelf. This is my artist light that's balanced for painting and it has different settings. And I can move it around on this table. I can even set this little table on top of a taller table if I need to get higher. And this arm bends. Here's a handy little metal table that I use at the computer and it has two levels and these tabletops can be risen and lowered. But I also cover it with plastic and use it at my easel to place my brushes on, my palette on. It's very handy. I have this tote bag hanging by this door and it has one of my images on it. I ordered it from pixels.com and it stores some of my medium-sized watercolor tablets. 
another handy storage solution. So I use my labeler to label my various drawers. I would get so confused if I didn't. And on top of this large flat file, I have printmaking paper on one side and printmaking paper on the other side and this large watercolor board. It's lightweight, I love it. So here's a close-up of my shelves. Here's my shelf of oil paints. Now these are all um, low or non-toxic oil paints and they are not made with any linseed oil. I find linseed oil very bothersome to me. So I've placed all my oil paints with linseed oil out in the garage. I tend to use these others and here are some small canvases, some vertical files, some small frames. Some of my pastels in the wooden case and then I've separated them out also into this plastic case here. Another little paint box. Then over here on this top shelf I have some canvas, an unprimered canvas and some of my printmaking blankets for my press. Here are some of my palettes and especially my watercolor little tiny palettes here. Then there's my watercolors with the larger palettes underneath. Then if I go outside I have everything packed in this bag here. I have a small watercolor case and other items I need for watercolor. Under here's a big box of printmaking paper, other boxes of art, a tray, um, and I keep my watercolors all inside plastic containers too. And here's the sponges and other items I need and mediums I need for watercolor. This is my oil painting shelf and in here I have my sun hat. So when I go out plein air painting I can put this on to protect my head. And I have a container all ready to go when I want to do plein air painting. Sometimes I do plein air painting actually in the car. Here's my little checklist. I love checklist. Some of my uh, paint brushes. And I'll hang these paintbrush containers from the window from the window of my car. Here are my various mediums. I work with M. Graham walnut oil paints, oil paints, and here's uh, the medium that I use. They do have an Elkid medium. It does have a, a scent to it, which I really don't like. So I'll only use it if I really need to have something dry quickly. And. Uh, this is a Gamblin uh, ground for oil paints. It's a basically your, your gesso for oil paint. And then I keep my oil paints in these plastic containers. And I really prefer painting on a paper palette. I know so many paint on wood and glass and all that, but I just don't have time. So I paint on these. Um, I'll save some of the paint in some tin foil if there's a lot of paint left and toss this away. Well, thank you for visiting. And I'm going to do another video because I plan on beautifying this area just to give it some character. And I'll show you what I end up doing. Oh wait, before I go, I wanted to show you this pot. This is what I use to put my soiled rags in. Uh, you know, even if uh, oil doesn't smell, I still don't like it hanging around the studio because it can be dangerous. You know, you've heard of in this combustion principle where you get a lot of oily rags together and they'll just start a fire. So I don't keep it in the studio long, I'll put it outside in my metal can and dispose of it properly later. Thank you for visiting and I hope you come back to see what I end up doing with this studio in terms of just giving it a little more character. Thank you.